All right, we're live. Hey, beautiful people, Photoshop here. I'm going to help you look for Mercari scams, and I'm going to point out red flags so you can avoid them if you're shopping on this platform. We're taking a look at this example, and the first thing you should do is to always keep in mind the retail price of the item you're trying to find. This here is a sexy Sony A7 II. Now, I'm a Canon guy, but let me tell you, this is a good camera. It still is. I mention that though because the body of the camera runs at about 800 bucks nowadays and the lens is about 400 so both of those together should be about $1,200. First red flag, <laughs> this is 451 bucks. It was originally $600. So if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And here's a good threshold for determining that. If the item you're looking at is less than 70% of the retail price, it's probably a scam. And I'm speaking for experience, that seems to be the sweet spot. So, first sign we're looking at a scam, a potential scam, the price is too low. Second sign, look at the user profile. This is a brand new profile. Zero reviews, zero sales, and just one item listed. And now will get to that one item listed in a second. So, sounds too good to be true. New profile, likely a scam. The third sign you're dealing with a scam, look at the comments. All right, now I've came across this post some time ago. I put a thinky face emoji. That means, hey, is this too good to be true? So, you can also take a look at the other users. This chat straight up said it is a scam, and it is, yes sir. And this person said how do they scam, and that's why I'm making this video, so help you beautiful people. So to reiterate what I said so far, when a profile has no reviews, no sales, basically they're new, and they post an item that sounds too good to be true, generally speaking, the price listed is less than 70%, you're probably dealing with a scam. Now let's go back to that one item last listed. What I've seen, and there's some interesting psychology going on here. These scammers are not all that dumb. What many of them do is they'll research the people that they're trying to scam and they will tailor the polls towards that audience. And so you see this, whether it's for photographers, for gamers, for people playing instruments, right? You come across a profile, there's only just one item. And if they're good, they speak the language of the end user. So they'll say something like, if I was trying to scam a person, just so you would know, hey, look, I have this camera. I'm not using it anymore. This is the shutter count. I upgraded to, let's say, a Nikon or a Fuji and this is what you need to know about the camera, right? I bought it from Adorama or stuff like that, right? You try to speak the language to sound more relatable. And in my experience, 99% of the time, if I come across a new profile, sounds going to be true, and it's just one item listed, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Shit of the bull. So this is a scam. The last thing I want to call out here too with this one is that you can see a lot of people are interested in it, but please don't take the bait. 40 hearts, that means 40 people like this item, and three people have the item in their cart. The thing is with the people who have the item in the cart, we don't know who they are. They may be legitimate buyers, or they may be people who are related to the seller. You see? So when you see that, don't get this false sense of urgency because it's shenanigans. All right, let's take a look at something I'm very familiar with and see if we could come across any more scam listings. And I see a couple here right now, baby. This here is the Canon R6. Beautiful camera, great camera, a sexy camera. But I also know what this thing should sell for if you're buying it brand new. 2000 bucks, give or take. 
you can tell by just looking at some of these listings if something sounds too good to be true. One, two, three. I can keep going, man. Four. We'll take a look at this one too. All right. So, boom. Check it out. So, again, sounds too good to be true. New profile. And, <laughs> and check it out. The comment is under review. Another thing worth mentioning. If you see comments that are under review or comments have been removed, it is to seller flagging them and Mercari designing yeah, we'll get rid of the comment. And they do that because I can guarantee you the comment says something along the lines of, this is bullshit, it's a scam. And so another thing too is that if the user, if the seller's not responding to the comments, they don't give a damn, right? So red flag number one, price, red flag number two, the profile, and sure enough, they just have the one on them listed, the comments. And let's go ahead and take, let's read this description. Stylish and easy to operate, it is. It's lightweight and portable. And as a part-time Charlie photographer, that's important to me. You don't want to carry around heavy camera gear, you don't. You need to be able to move fast, right? And that matters to photographers. Um, Time lapse functionality, it's important to some people. And they tailor it so that if you're a photographer reading this, it's gonna get your interest. So you can also see that this post was posted fairly recently. And during that time, they slashed the price by this much. They're trying to get rid of it fast, that urgency. What about this one? Um, <laughs> again, the price. New user looks like scam right here. You see scam. I'm getting really tired of these scams. I'm recording. Yep. 100% bogus. This is a scam and at Mercari and at Mercari, you need to do better. Shame. I'll post that. So you have other people trying to keep an eye out for you too. This one, look, removed my, is this too good to be true emoji? It's a scam. So yeah, look at this. And this is, this is a hell of a scam. The Mark II runs at about $2,500. And this lens I believe is the 24 to 105 F stop four, $1,300 lens. You mean to tell me somebody is going to sell almost $4,000 worth of camera, camera gear for 1200 bucks? No. So shenanigans. Don't take the bait, beautiful people, okay? Don't do it. This one here. Same thing. You're going to notice a trend. Price. New profile. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And the shipping is free. Right, they're trying to sweeten the deal, trying to rope you in. This one here, aha, perfect. With Mercari, if the seller goes through the process of verifying their profile, and you can see they have a lot of sales, you're good, man. You're good, and let me tell you, this is a good deal for this cat, this camera. Um, 21 hearts, three people have in their cart, and it looks like it's in great shape. So I hope this bad boy finds a good home and whoever gets it, they're going to be in luck because this is a great camera and take a look at the profile. This person has been around since 2017, sold 17 items. So and you can see what they sold. Yeah, this is legit. Which brings me to my next point. How do you determine if something's legit or not? Well, let's take a look. Um, Besides the red flags, you come across those situations where you can't tell if I'm not sure if this is a scam or not. I'll see if I can find one of those. This one's bullshit. Yeah. And I feel bad too. Someone bought this. Look at that. Oh, oh man. I hope that person gets the refund. So these people probably said this is a scam. The user did not flag my emoji. Free shipping. 
And this was posted like four days ago. Look at that price. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sorry, brother or sister. But this one here. All right. This happens to be legit, too. The profile isn't verified, but look at the sales. Look at the stars, right? Um, and let me, let me try to wrap this up for you. If you can't tell if something's a scam or not, lean on the side of safety. Okay, it's happened to me plenty of times where I wasn't sure if the item I want is a scam or not. My gut is telling me, yes, it's a scam, but there's signs that tell me, no, it's not. For example, the user has made me two sales, right? But still brand new profile. I can't tell if those were legitimate sales or not, but what you can do to help you out here, since I'm on that topic, see what they sold. So in this case, if they have a very expensive item for sale, but they sold two very cheap stuff, it's a scam. I'm 99% positive because they sold those cheap items, probably someone they know or to another account they have, so they could get those stars to make it seem like they're legitimate. Be careful in those scenarios, okay? But here, Crit 13 Tina, she looks good. And again, that's a good price for that camera. The last thing I wanna to touch on is, I bought an item before from here and I've been scammed. Let me show that to you. Mercari has this feature called Authenticate. Bullshit, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to admit this, but another hobby I have is watch collecting. Love watches. And when I was first getting into it, I saw this. I was like, oh my God, Omega, I don't know anything about the brand, but I know the name. And check this out. The person, look at all those sales, look at all those reviews. Authenticated, reviewed by third-party authenticators. I tell myself, what do I have to lose, right? Buy this bad boy, I get it. But holding it, something about holding a watch in your gut says, man, I got rug pulled. So I took the watch. I went to, um, uh, I forget the name of the watch company, but they review watches, they authenticate them. They said, photo chat, man, you you got burned. You did, you got did dirty and it was fake. So if you see authenticate on here, it's bullshit. It doesn't mean anything. It, it doesn't because it's easy to fool the system apparently. And I've read a lot of reviews where that's the case. Um, yeah. I. I don't know how it works. I don't know who the third party is to confirm the authenticity, but, and the diamond seal, all right? Don't be fooled by what you see is where I'm trying to get at. So let me summarize everything for you all again before I let you go. Red flag number one, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And a good guideline is if the item you're looking at is less than 70% of the retail price, it's probably a scam. The profile is brand new. Okay, no sales, number of views, and they're listing one item. Uh, another scenario I've seen is, hey, they're listing, let's say two or three items, and they have two or three stars. Take a look at the items they sold. If the one item they're listing is expensive, but they sold a bunch of cheap items, can almost certainly guarantee you they did that to get those stars and reviews to look like they're legitimate. Take a look at the comments. If people are asking a lot of questions and the seller's not answering them, or if people say, it's a scam, it's bullshit. If you see a thinky face emoji, if comments are under review or comments are deleted, it's a scam, man. <laughs>